Hey guys, Johnny from the Wanderlust Bus. Welcome to part two of Paradise by the Dashboard Light, our dashboard mini series, I guess, maybe. This is uh, the construction of our from scratch birch plywood dash and uh, a lot of measuring involved, a lot of trial and error and uh, a lot of really cool stuff came out of it. So go check it out and I'll see you when you get back. Things are falling. Hey guys, it's Johnny. Welcome back to the Wanderlust bus. So today I am surrounded by dashboard stuffs. That is gauge panels and, and side panels and, and other side panels and flat dash panels. Guess what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, the dash. So we are getting into it today and there are a lot of things that we have done that you can skip all together if you want to. Save time, save money, whatever you want to do. This is the harder way to go. I just want to clarify this. These boxes are completely different than what was there originally. You can leave your, if your original dash is in good shape, you might want to consider leaving it because it is a process. Ours, not in good shape. Not only that, it's plastic and as we've said before, we are an all organic, completely chemical free transition. So we are not going to leave any plastics in the bus. So plain and simple, these had to get made. We went with the rounded corners because the, the bus, the top of the bus is rounded so it kind of matched and, and felt right. So this is the main gauge panel. Uh, we eliminated a good portion of the gauges because we eliminated the factory heat system. Uh, we're actually relocating it. We didn't eliminate it completely but we're not going to use it unless it's an absolute necessity. Meaning we are in some dire straits, the generator's not working, the solar's out, we need heat. So that's the only time we're going to use it. I'm actually going to relocate that to the actually to this. All three of those switches are going to go in here and uh, that'll control our main heating. As far as the side panels go and everything else, you need to make sure once you take your dash apart, if this is the way you want to go, you need to make sure that you go ahead and measure like crazy. You have to keep all of the stuff that's there enclosed and tight, but you still need access. That's what this is for. I still have to uh, make a cut here. This is a little storage box and you'll see that when we go in the bus. But this is going to be an access panel for all of the main wiring underneath the bus. As far as the big lights go, the big well might need a new air pressure gauge. Nonetheless, this is, uh, this is the old dash panel and these big plastic LED, well, uh, incandescent lights behind this used to do some indication lights. I'm actually replacing these with just single LED lights and they are actually going to go in that portion of the panel right there. Just single LED lights. They don't need to be crazy, huge, giant monstrosities like that is. So we're really condensing everything. Um, the other, some of the other things that were on the dash that we've moved, the door panel that opens and closes the door for the pneumatics. This is the engine start ignition as well as the master switch. We've relocated these to the front apron. You'll see where we located those when we go in again. 
As far as that goes, after you've put all of your elements together, you got your flat dash with the holes cut for your, your main gauge panel here and your speedometer panel here and a nice flat spot for your tablet. Once all that's done, you need to sand it all down. We've already sanded all this down. That's the back so it looks ugly. We've already sanded all this down and we now have to take it into the bus and get ready to eco epoxy it, which means putting it all together as much as we can so that we get a good coat of eco epoxy on it. So let's go ahead and start grabbing this stuff and I will meet you guys in the bus in just a second. I do the same thing with my groceries. Well, so the dash is built. That was an interesting project as well. There was a lot of stuff that I had not done before and uh, the results were very, very, very pleasing. I, I like how everything is turning out. So next up, we get to talk about the Eco Epoxy and we are very excited about the Eco Epoxy because it is a great product and I'll talk about it more in part three of Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Meanwhile, stop by the Wanderlust Bus webpage, thewanderlustbus.com. Check out our Instagram. We're kind of active on it now. And uh, check out our Facebook as well. Meantime, I got other things to do, things to read. I'll see you guys in part three. It's Johnny. Thanks for stopping by.